Hey everyone, today's August 22nd, 2022. So not too long ago, I made a video called Decoding the Death of Bush, and I showed you guys the premiere date of uh, the movie Dead Presidents connecting to August 20th with a 322 connection, 322 months, 22 days apart. And also all the connections with George Bush, and I thought we might see something that day. Uh, nothing I'm aware of significant happened in the news, but however, when I typed in George Bush in Google, then I hit news, this was the very first article, and the very first words of that article were the death of the Bush and Cheney political dynasty. So I'm like, at first I thought, holy crap, I was right. Then I read the rest of it, and I was like, okay. No, I'm, it's not meaning the actual death of Bush, but it's just weird that on that day, and I think that still comes up, but not the top article when you type that in. Um, however, I want to go back to that movie and talk about not the premiere date, but the actual official release date, the 322 connection, because once again, 322 months and 22 days apart from the official release date is August 26. And I'm finding all these um, number synchronicities that mean seem like they're too much to be a coincidence, and I have to mention it again. Um, so this movie, this was one of the advertisements of the movie, and I don't know what it has to do with presidents because I didn't actually see the movie, but I know I read a little bit of the plot, and it's I know it's about um, people committing crimes wearing white face paint, uh, black men wearing white face paint, and it's always reminded me of this image of Obama, the Joker Obama. Of course, they did that also with Bush, and they did that with Trump too, but. I just remember this more with Obama. I think maybe it was more popularized or something. Uh, I know there were masks being sold like this, and especially him being on Time Magazine. But look at this. Okay, I said the official release date is 322 months, 22 days, to 826. Then look at their birth dates. Connect. They both connect, Obama's and Bush. Uh, his has a perfect 322 connection, 22,302 days apart. Um, again, when I look for that 322 connection, I look for one, three, multiple twos. That's how I see the code all the time. Uh, same with 9-11. It's usually one, nine, multiple ones, and we have that with Bush. Dates reversed. And if you didn't see my other videos, when I put reverse in parentheses, that means if I were to take the 826 put it over here seven six over here I've seen it enough times where it's very important to look at the dates in reverse as well as forward um, that's one way I think they hide uh, their connections so. but I want to show you this okay if you don't know already back on July 4th 1826 we had two presidents die, John Adams and Thomas Jefferson, and they died on the 50th anniversary of the signing of the Declaration, actually, the Declaration of Independence. Uh, they actually signed it on August 2nd, but um, but anyways, uh, it's known as July 4th, right? So, And these were the founding fathers, and they both died on the same day. Uh, and then exactly 1826 days later so this, this was the year 1826 they died and the amount of days that happens to equal um what five years later exactly and it was july 4th again uh the 55th anniversary of the declaration of independence and this was james monroe another president who died and then I'm looking at this, and I'm seeing the 826, 826, 826 here, and two presidents died. Then I'm looking at this movie, and I was trying to decode the death of a president, but this is plural, 
This says dead presidents. What if, what if uh, they're planning two at the same time, just like they did? I mean, how can you say this is a coincidence? Uh, two of them dying on July 4th. And again, 1,826 days later, on July 4th again. Uh, the odds of that are pretty rare. <laughs> um, so, anyways, I want to show you this now. This was called The Death of a President, made in 2006. So, Death of a President is a 2006 British docudrama political thriller film about the fictional assassination of George W. Bush. And it says in the movie, it was apparently assassinated on October 19th, 2007. But it's just strange that even a movie like that would be even made, or docudrama, or whatever you call it. Uh, but this came out in theaters in the U.S. on October 27th, 2006. And we have another amazing number synchronicity because this came out 826 apart from this date, 826, August 26. And just like August 20th, I had a 322 connection to George Bush Sr., we have, once again, another connection. Because you think, well, they're both members of Skull and Bones, and you think maybe there's going to be a 322 connection because that's their number. And as I pointed out before, George Bush Sr., this date was actually 322 on the Jewish calendar. Now I want to show you these images again, uh, which I showed you several times before, but... and. But I'm going to show you how it relates to August 26. The V coming down Obama's forehead. Uh, v is the 22nd letter. And 22 days after Obama's birthday on August 4th is August 26. And they already did something like this before, as I talked about a couple times. The Valentine's Day shooting. The Evalde shooting. Um, 223 days and 322 days after George Bush's birthday and in the same scene they got the 322 so they did that with Bush why wouldn't they do that and put a decode with Obama so and also the date adds to 76 8 plus 26 plus 22 plus 20 76 and Bush was born on 7-6 and even this year, on 7-6, he had the Georgia Guidestones being tore down. And that's got to be significant of something. It could be connected. Obviously, it's connected with Bush because it happened on his birthday. But And Skull and Bones equals 76. So does Barack Obama in the same cipher. Um, this is another decode that... Uh, I mentioned this date, December 14th, 1832. That's the date that I believe that Skull and Bones was founded. I don't know for sure, but it does say online that it was found, founded in December of 1832. And when you look on the Jewish calendar, 322 on the Jewish calendar is December 14th. And it's the 33rd anniversary of George Washington's death. So it made a lot of sense for this to be the founding date. And especially when I found out it had a 322 connection connecting to George Bush Sr.'s death date. And now I look at 826. Um, we have a 9-11 connection connecting Skull and Bones to 826. So Now here's something else I want to show you. The Psalms 23... And this is a reflection, obviously. and But it's flipped, because this doesn't look the same. If you flip it horizontally on your computer, it'll look just like this. But they only show you the bottom of it, and I think they do that for a reason, because this has some meaning. This trident, it's the trident of Poseidon, because right here, you can see the P. Right here, it just looks like the trident. 
but you can see the P. So it's not as noticeable. But And right here, you can't see the Z, but you can hear, see the Z here. And that Z would be for Zeus, because Zeus holds the lightning bolt. He's the god of the sky and thunder, and he controls the weather. And Poseidon is the god of the sea, and he also creates earthquakes. And Obama is looking down at this apple. He has this above his head, at the reflection. And that's why I think this relates to uh, natural disasters, uh, earthquakes, things in the sea, uh, storms, whatever, climate change events. Because I mentioned that this, I'm not going to explain it again, but I mentioned how this connected to the flower moon eclipse this, uh, this year, May 15th and May 16th, and how these letters uh, coincide with this. Uh, like from Obama's perspective, because this is his foot, he sees the letter C and 7. So that would be 37. C is the third letter. And so exactly 37 days after this eclipse date on 516, we had a thousand people killed in an earthquake. And so once again, I'm saying it's very likely, I think, they're, they're planning something like this again. Maybe not an earthquake, but something weather related or with electricity because that's related to the thunderbolt and I showed you guys all these blackout connections that I have for today and tomorrow and that's three months and seven days apart once again we'll have to look at like 37 weeks apart and like I said before the other way it's LC so we got to look at 123 days apart 12th letter third letter 12 months three days uh, 12 3 December 3rd in itself March 7th, you know, I didn't write this down, but March 7th, 3-7, uh, back in 2019, was also 12-30, which would be the other way, 12-3, 12-30 on the Jewish calendar, and that's when a nationwide blackout actually hit Venezuela. We actually had the Statue of Liberty lights go out on March 7th, 2017 it was, but so, um, all right, uh, I guess that's all I got for this video, and I will talk to you guys next time. Take care.